Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing another tag video. The tag I'm going to be doing is a tag that was started by Nemesis3561. I believe that's uh, the right way around. I'm sorry if I got the numbers wrong. Um, I was tagged by Intellivision Dude and the tag is to name your five favourite PS2 games. And before I go any further, I'm just going to say I'm going to be tagging the secret game room or lobby. So, um, it didn't take me that long to think about my choices. I only took about a minute, but I've come up with my top five. Um, I'm going to start with my fifth favourite and then work downwards. So, uh, my fifth favourite game for the PS2 is Crazy Taxi, which was originally a Dreamcast game. Um, I did a review of this a while back. Um, it's a sim, uh, not a simulation, um, arcade style racing game. Um, it's really crazy over the top, as as you'd expect, given that it's called Crazy Taxi. I mean, it's a lot of fun. I guess it's not really that deep in terms of gameplay. You can't like customize stuff like you can in like Gran Turismo or whatever. But you know, it's a fun game to play for a few minutes, so you can just pop it in and play. Don't need to worry about saving anything, or you know. If you got a few minutes to kill then why not give it a play? I don't think it's that expensive and I'd highly recommend it. Next up in at number four is a compilation uh, game which is Intellivision Lives which is a compilation of over 60 Intellivision games and if you had a Mattel Intellivision um, when, you, uh, when you were growing up this might hold um, some nostalgia for you, um, but I didn't. I just wanted to have a little taste of the Intellivision library, and it's a pretty good taste. I think it's got quite a lot of good games on here. Some of my favourites are Shark Shark and Pinball and Night Stalker. So I, I think there should be something on there for everyone. And you know, I guess the graphics aren't really that good as they are in television games, but they play pretty well on the PS2. Um, there may be a few glitches, but no big deal. And if you want to uh, get a taste of the Intellivision library and you're not sure if to pick up an actual system, this might be a cheap way of doing it. So yeah, I'd highly recommend it, whether you've got an Intellivision or not. Next up is a game I got for my birthday, Beyond Good and Evil. I haven't really played that much of it yet, but from what I've played it seems pretty fun. Unfortunately, um, it froze when I was playing, but it's not a big deal. I haven't really got that far. Um, seems like a fun action adventure game. Um, some people were saying it was like a Zelda clone, but I don't know. Um, seems pretty fun to me. Um, I saw a review of this by uh, the Sequel Game Room. That's what influenced me to get it. And I've not been disappointed so far. Um, hopefully, I can progress a bit further. Um, and next up, in at number two. Destroy All Humans 2. Um, this is a open world game, a third person shooter game. Um, so you can just go around everywhere, um, completing missions and stuff like that. So it's pretty fun. Um, it's got a sense of humour as well which always helps. It doesn't take itself too seriously. Um, I think it's set like in the Cold War or something because there's lots of references to like Soviet Union and the Communists and that. And you play as an alien, and you can like take over hippies and that. And it's pretty fun, you know. I've got um, a little way into it. I've beaten the first like world, I think, and I look forward to playing some more because it seems like a fun game. Pretty good graphics, and um, it, like I said, it's got a sense of humour, so it might make you laugh. And on to my number one. Um, drum roll, please. Oh. Well, anyway, I know this is a big deal to many of you in the video game industry. Actually, no, you don't really care, do you? But anyway, my number one is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I guess it's kind of a predictable choice. Cause, um, a lot of people like this game, I think. I think in television, do chose this. Um, I just like the way you can go around pretty much anywhere you want, doing whatever you want. So you can, like, uh, wreak havoc, you know, like, blow stuff up drive around in cars. You can be a perfectly law-abiding citizen if you want, but that wouldn't really be much fun. Sometimes I don't really bother that much about the missions, I just try and have a 
blast, like killing people and that, you know. And there are a lot of missions if you're into that kind of thing, and it's a big world, they put a lot of effort into it. It's not like some games that just change like one thing with a game and then say it's a new game. Um, they clearly put a lot of effort into designing this game. A lot of attention to detail, lots of different things you can do, like playing games and that, in pubs and that, and obviously driving around in cars, shooting people, flying planes. So yeah, there's a lot there to keep you occupied. Um, I'd be surprised if you didn't have it, um, if you have a PlayStation 2, because I think quite a lot of PS2 owners, I think quite a lot of PS2 owners have this game, and I, I'd highly recommend it. Um, I guess you could say if you played one Grand Theft Auto game, you played them all, because they're all pretty similar, but obviously they have unique uh, environments, which helps uh, set them apart. And yeah, it's got uh, okay graphics. Some of them are a bit dated by today's standards. There is a bit of pop up and that, but it's no big deal. And they clearly put a lot, a lot of effort into it. And you know, it's also got quite quite a good sense of humour and that. It's not too serious. Some of you, if you're easily offended, um, you might find it a bit offensive because it's a lot. It's got a lot of swearing and um, like drugs references and sex and that, but. I enjoy it anyway. So uh, those are my top five games. Um, I doubt you'll agree with my choices because I know everyone has different opinions. But um, thanks to Intellivision Dude for tagging me. I hope you like my choices. Um, and I'd like to see as many responses as possible because it seems like an interesting tag and there's lots of different possibilities. And uh, So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll put another video soon. Bye.